Hey, it's Carl Carswell, Damage Hitter. I've been getting lots of questions on Instagram, Twitter, here on YouTube, starting to get some questions on Facebook as well. So I want to start addressing those once a week here in our How Do You section. So this week, our first week of our How Do You section, the question is, how do you stop or correct barring of the front arm? Before we can get into it too deep, you got to know exactly what barring of the front arm is. So we're going to address that right away. Make sure you understand it totally. So as you guys know, we're in our stance. We're right-handed hitters. Our left arm will be our front arm, bottom hand, lead arm, whatever you want to call it. And when our hitters are getting ready to hit and they're doing their hitting position, they're getting their foot on the ground and their arm is all the way extended out. A lot of people will call that a barred front arm. To me, it is not. Okay. Even if it's locked at this point, that doesn't mean that this guy is a barred front arm hitter. A barred front arm happens and occurs when they start to swing and they leave this arm in this position and they turn and this arm stays in this position and goes all the way around. Okay? Stays in this position as they go all the way around. Sometimes they even push it in this position and they try to go around and their barrel will get down in this direction. So that's what a barred front arm is. Now I gotta tell you, it doesn't mean that it's wrong. It doesn't mean that you can't hit like that. Some very good hitters at the big league level have hit with the front arm that's barred. I think one would be Ken Griffey Jr. I think a lot of people would say Tony Gwynn had a barred front arm. It doesn't necessarily mean it's wrong. It just means everybody can't possibly do it. So it became a, a big deal in the 70s for dad coaches and little league coaches to say, hey, you got to quit barring your front arm. Stop barring your front arm. And now we're at a, a time where we have young hitters who are hitting and many of them hit with a barred front arm. Here's why they hit with a barred front arm. They're not strong enough to swing the bat. They haven't been taught properly that they can swing that bat, whether it be heavy or not, without barring the front arm. Okay? So before we talk about how we stop it, I'm going to tell you this. I like to call the swing a box. Okay? And the box is your two shoulders. Some people will call it a square or a diamond. Doesn't matter to me. Your two shoulders, those are corners of the box. Your head and the center of your sternum. Okay? The width of your box is the same direction, the same width as your shoulders in both directions. Okay? I like to say you're going to try to keep this action within your box, right? which will create its own box because your front arm will have a little bit of a, an angle to it. So when you turn in that box, you'll turn and what you'll see is the front arm stays bent and you turn into this position creating a box. And we want the width, the depth of that box, front and back, to be basically symmetrical, basically about the same size. Maybe a little tighter, but definitely not outside of the box. Hopefully that makes a lot of sense. So we're knowing that properly when we swing, we're trying to get into the box. Okay, we're trying to turn into our box. So one way you can immediately help somebody is say, hey, try to take your front arm, number one way, to stop somebody from barring, try to take your front arm, it's, it's long, and elbow your little brother, your little sister, your dad who's talking during my lesson, right in the belly button as you turn. It's one way, okay? <clears throat> because they, under, they don't understand the box, but they will understand an elbow. And, and you'll see other things that come off of that that may be considered swing flaws. We'll have to fix those as we go, but if our goal is to stop this action, correct this action, better this action, then we'll really concentrate on getting that elbow into the box. Okay? Now, we don't want this elbow to turn to the side and hit somebody behind us. We're trying to get it going this direction. If I turn to you, what you'll see, a guy who's in a good hitting position will have some space right here so their elbow can move. Bad hitting position will be, they'll be thinking about moving this way because they're tight. But if they're relaxed and ready to go, they'll be have room and they can turn into the box. If they don't turn into the box, then it looks like this from this position. You don't see any elbow until they get turned here and then their bat's out. Number one way, understand we're trying to elbow to the front of the box as we turn. Barrel's going to be right here. Bang. <clears throat> Number two way, this is a drill way. A drill is we grab our shirt. Our hands will be tight. I don't want my hands to go too far back. I'll let go of the shirt. I don't want my hands to go too down, far down. I'll let go of the shirt. I don't want my hands to go too far up. I'll let go of the shirt. But what I'm trying to do here is T work is a great way to start this and or dry swings. I have my hand right here. My hand's right here. I do my load or I do my sit. Put my foot down and then I turn and 
release my shirt to swing. I turn, and I release my shirt to swing. Those are both check swing type drills, but you can do that faster. And you want that, that to happen out front. Hopefully you understand that totally, out front. Second way will be t-shirt drill, out front. Third way is bat stays on my shoulder. Nice and easy, and all I do is sit, some people call it load, load, bat stays on my shoulder, load, bat stays on my shoulder, load, turn and swing, right off of my shoulder. This is just a feel. Load, turn and swing. Now you do this on the tee at this tempo that I'm doing right now. Load, turn and swing. Load, turn and swing. And then you can do side toss. Same tempo. Load, turn and swing. And I want to literally feel my hands barrel bumping against my shoulder, my hands staying tight, and I'm just swinging. This is for an opportunity to reduce the need to do this. Bar, strong, long and increase the need to turn and just use this part of my swing to stop the bar, not to hit, to stop the bar, okay? Now I've given you three really good ways to stop barring your front arm. I'm not saying that their hitters can't bar their front arm and be effective. What I'm saying is people are asking me how to stop it and I'm telling you how. I know that there are plenty of hitters out there who can hit with a bar front arm. I also know the majority of us cannot and these are three good ways to stop barring the front arm. If you have questions, please leave a comment and ask. If you have comments, please leave a comment. Feel free, I love to engage in conversation about hitting, okay? All the mechanical things that you can possibly do, good or bad, can be fixed, adjusted, made better, made worse by working on it. Conversation helps us get to the point where we can better understand how the hitter works. Teaching a hitting technique is great. Teaching a person how to best feel their, their swing and develop their own way to create a good technique is better. When in doubt, hit it out. Wookah!